Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you how fluorescein can reflect UVA radiation. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is my UVA flashlight, 250 milliliters of distilled water, and fluorescein powder. Okay, now it's time to add just a gram of fluorescein powder to my distilled water under the UVA light. You can see that fluorescein is kind of a brown color to start with, but check out what happens when I add it to the water under the UVA light as it changes color. Check this out. Look at that. It's changing color. How's that possible? Isn't that amazing? So what's happening here is fluorescein has molecules that when they absorb UVA radiation, they have electrons that get really excited. And as they're spinning, they go to an outer energy level. And when they return to their grounded state, they can either spin the same direction or the opposite direction as each electron emits one photon of light. Remember, a photon can travel as a particle or a wavelength of light. Now what you're seeing right here are photons that have a wavelength of around 600 nanometers. That's through the light spectrum, the color green. Remember a nanometer is just one billionth of a meter. That's 10 to the negative nine. Ophthalmologists use fluorescein dye to detect irregularities on the cornea or the retina of the human eye. When the person blinks, the dye covers the eye. And as long as it's green, there's no irregularities. But when a cobalt filter is placed over the lens, then the fluorescein dye will start to bond with any irregularities on the eye. As seen in this image, you can see some irregularities over the retina of the human eye. In this image, you can see a corneal abrasion and you can see a dendritic ulcer right next to it. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time.